Hello everybody, it is I, the Conservative Coin Collector, and today I want to show you my little project. This is the desk that I uh, keep my lamp on, and my lamp is propped here. That's how I do my intros. This space was like up to here for the junk. So I cleared it all off, and it was mostly coins. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I found, because I have no idea what I put on here. The coins I found at the coin store at my work, the coins that I could have just, I don't know, I don't know where I found them. They could have been from my collection, I don't know where, but... Some of them are, maybe some of them are from previous videos that I've done on them. And I want to be on camera, putting them away... And maybe you can learn a thing or two about these particular coins. But sh new viewers, paternity viewers, you're always going to learn something coin related about my channel. Down here is everything I had on my, on my desk. With my star notes that I did a video on. And this is a sack of world coins I did a video on. Why is it so dark in here all of a sudden? I have no idea. Hold on, let me check my brightness. No, that's not it. I don't know. I'm going to have to get this organized and situated and put away, and you're coming with me. First is first, let's put these dollar bills away. Here I have my dollar bill binder. These are sold for certificates. I have a blank one, a blank page, uh, two blank pages actually, two dollar bills, some old fives, an old ten, and a bank of Uganda 50,000 shillings. My brother and dad went to Uganda a couple months back. And they brought me home with some currency. They came back December 5th or 6th. And they saved the currency they got for me for Christmas. Because Christmas was less than a month away. I was not disappointed. I got what I... I got some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool coins. Even a Ugandan piece of currency that doesn't even exist anymore over there. But you're going to have to... Go up through my backlog and see if you can find it because I don't remember when I uploaded it. So these dollar bills are going to go. I'm going to put this one on top. The star note is on the river side. It's crisp and I found it just aligned perfectly on the ground. And that was a couple days ago when it was in the 60s and sunny and the parking lot was dry. Today, I had to shovel snow off of my car before coming home. That's what it's like living in Buffalo. If you don't like our weather, you wait half an hour. Here they are in all their glory. And of course, they're put in straight. But my one $2 bill is crooked, so it looks like it's crooked, but... To put it nice and straight. A video I did recently, this was on the rarer side, and these two star notes were a little more common. And the star note on the bottom is more beat up, and uh, it's seen better days. But what I like is they're, they're on the rougher side, but a couple of months back, I got a couple of silver certificate dollar bills. I paid close to, if not face value, for all these bills. I got like six or seven of them for like seven bucks. So, of course, they were going to be on the rougher side. There is even one with tape on a ripped edge, and I spent that one. But there's a difference between silver certificates and regular Federal Reserve notes. It says Federal Reserve note, and if you see silver certificate... That means this dollar bill was printed in a time that the American currency was backed by silver and gold. 
And if there's one thing you need to know on this channel is I want that to be the case again. Not being backed by silver and gold is one of the reasons we're in such a bad financial situation with our currency. Of course, we have a geriatric circus monkey as president, but that's beside the point. Under the coins, in this hobby of kins sack, is all these world coins. This is another thing that I got for Christmas, and that was a couple months back. I did a video on all these coins. It took probably eight hours to uh, do the video. The video was probably like half an hour long. It was a long process to do a video covering all these coins. In a retrospect, I could have done several videos on it, but I don't know. This one here. If it'll focus. It's Russian. A coin from the USSR. The CCCP was the USSR. So this world coin is from a place that doesn't even exist anymore. Pretty dang cool. These are the rougher coins that were on my uh, table. This is a penny. And this is a buffalo nickel without a date. I have a couple of nickels from the 40s, 47, and 1940. The one, this, they're both not war nickels. I'll keep the one from 1940. I'll put it in my uh, hand etched mug over there. And uh, that's probably where I'll keep it because I have nowhere else to, uh, to put it. It's going to go in that mug. Or it's going to go if I... It's going to go pop out of there or loose in my cream cheese container. I got this cream cheese container. It had chive and onion in it. It was pretty dang good. In fact, the, it would have expired in the 15th of... March, if uh, there was still cream cheese in there. Luckily, it was all eaten way before then. So the 1940, actually, since it's right here, I could put it in here. Actually, I have a couple coins I've got to put in here. Hold on, i got to open this, but it requires two hands. This whole video took a turn. There's way too much in my cream cheese container. And all these are coins. They're all thick. I know exactly where I'm going to stick these, this, and this. And this is a proof set. The early years of America, they're all early 1900. Uh, it's a 1900 proof set that was made at my local coin shop. But the video took a turn. I'm going to see what's in here. And most of it's probably going to go in my mug. I decided this is going to only hold very special coins. And all the other face value junk I can just stick in my my mug. What's in here? I found these pennies. They're all wheat pennies. Some of them are steel. And they're gonna go in my there. I finally figured out what's gonna stay in here. And I wanted to cover a couple more interesting ones that are gonna stay in there. My Morgan Dollar Dateless Standard Liberty Quarter and two silvers. This 1964, I found it a coin star. When I found it, it was lying uh, reverse up. And reverse up, it doesn't look like anything special. But I know that coin star rejects silver. But sometimes this could have just been, for all I know, this could have been a 1982p. So I saw the reverse up and I didn't think much of it, but when I turned it over to see what it was. And I saw 1964. I think it's this one that's the 64. No. That one, it's definitely 64. You can see the 196, but that's definitely a 4. I checked. 
that was uh pretty cool. Well, I did a little spring cleaning. My desk is a lot cleaner than it used to be. And uh, that's a pretty dang good thing. With that being said, I am Triple C, or the Consumer Coin Collector. You know to like, comment, subscribe, and share and hit the bell icon. Until next time, I'm signing off. So long with you.